Hey guys, it's Charlotte Nagai, Executive Director with Pampered Chef, and today I am going to show you a few tips and tricks on sharing photos into your virtual party group. Now, a lot of people are scared of what's called Facebook jail. And if you haven't heard of Facebook jail, it's basically when you're overusing a feature of Facebook. So they feel you're abusing their website. They want to make sure you're not spam, so they put you on a temporary block. If you're messaging too many people that you're not friends with, if you're posting too many posts in a really short amount of time, if you invite a whole lot of people to a group or an event, then you can land in Facebook jail. It's basically just overusing any features, so just slow down and don't go too fast. Um, now, one of the myths of Facebook jail is that by overusing the same photo, you can go to jail. And that's basically, say, consultant A shares this great photo she made, and then 5,000 consultants post it. You don't go to jail. Facebook decides that they don't want 5,000 copies of the exact same photo clogging up their servers, so they remove the photo. And then if you try to post it again, it will just tell you that it's been shared too many times. That's not jail. That's just them removing the photo. Completely different things. You're not blocked. You just have to use a different photo. Super simple. It's not like you can't post anything for two weeks like Facebook jail does to you. I did that two, uh, two years ago. Learned my lesson. Um, so, anywho. So this is my Facebook business page. Pampered Chef with independent consultant Charlotte Nagai. And remember that if you are a consultant with Pampered Chef, that you are supposed to identify yourself as an independent consultant. Um, so... Here's what I do, and I'm in the process of cleaning up so I don't have as many albums. I go to my photos, and I have all these albums for products. One of them being the one that uh, Marcy Loan, Loner created, which was the Spring 2017 catalog. And so she uploaded each page of the catalog one at a time. So I uploaded it into an album here, and now what I can do is I can share this in my parties. Now I do groups. If you do events, you'd go share in an event, and I just do share in a group, and then I would just type in this na the name, and they come up. I'm not actually going to share it right now. I did that before. Now, another thing you can do is I click up here in my address bar, and I control C or command C because I'm on a Mac, and I'm going to copy that link into SynthShare. If you are not on SynthShare and you're curious about it, I have put a link to 37 free days in my in the comments of this. So I paste it here and click the little Facebook button. Wrong button, sorry. Click the little chain link icon. And it takes a little bit of time. But it pulls it up and then you can type whatever. You can type in, have you seen the new spring products yet? And then you can post it. And I'll show you what it looks like in my little trial group here. Don't even try to find it, it's a secret. So then it comes up exactly like this. Have you checked out the new spring catalog? And all those pictures, you didn't even have to re-upload them. All you did was share your album. And they can click on it. And it's an advertisement for your business page because it's going to bring them, they can totally click here and be like, oh, I like this. Look at all this great stuff she has. I'm going to like her page. So it's fabulous. So then I just do that in Sync Share. And so then if I go in my history, yes, I want to leave. Then from now on, every time I want to reshare it, all I have to do is reschedule it into another party. Super duper easy. So I'll walk you through real quick. I'm going to go to photos, or let's go back to our the main page. Now this gets around Facebook's algorithm because you're you're just sharing the same post over and over, but it's linking back to the same source, so you're not taking up any extra space on their server as if you were uploading all these 30 pictures every single time, the exact same things. They don't want that. So we're going to go share a photo or video. And it gives you all these options, and we're going to just create a photo album. And then I'm just going to create a spiralizer photo album. So I'm just going to click all these pictures that I have of the spiralizer. Oops. I'm sure there's a shortcut. 
Okay. I'm just going to tell you over the spiralizer. Now, a lot of times people say how great my wording is, but really all I do is I go onto our site because Home Office just supplies us with everything that we need pretty much. And their wording, I just love. I think they come up with the most fabulous words. So I'm going to go to the spiralizer. Oop, there it is. And then down here, we click on selling tips. And they give us the verbiage to use. Oh, well, this one doesn't have the verbiage. So what I'll do is just copy and paste this. I don't usually copy all that jargon. It just looks like a little bit too much, in my personal opinion. So then I just paste that into the description and you can even put your website just so they don't have to really look for it they're all up there and now in the bottom right there's a post button which I guess you can't see because it's off the screen here here we go I'll just move it post And boom, you have an album on your business page. And then you could totally just share that into wherever you wanted. Share it on your personal timeline, share it in your event, share it in a group, share it in your VIP page, share it in another page. You can send it to somebody in a private message if somebody says, you know, do you have any pictures of the spiralizer? You just click share, and boom, they have the entire album. Somebody asks if you have a picture of the catalog. It's just super duper easy. So I highly recommend you utilize this business page, and it's public, which means that you can just share anything, and people can find it. So if you're sharing something that you created, just add your logo to it and have your own album. And then you just share those into your parties, and then just schedule all your posts through SynthShare, or uh, Post My Party, or whatever you use. Um, using the post from your business page and Facebook will be a lot friendlier for you. I hope that helped you and I hope you guys